How's it going, Bowden? How are you today? Let's make sure that this camera works. Okay, nice. What is better, light sworn at all or artifacts at all? Personally, I like artifacts at all better. I think pure is also. All right, players. Before we begin, if there's a anybody who did not turn in your deck list, please pass it down to the end of the row. My judges are going to come around and start collecting them. Just for the record, you are not getting any penalty for turning it in now. Once again, if you did not turn in your deck list prior to this round one meeting. Please pass it down to the end of the row. The judges will come around and get them. We already have a uh, hundred and forty-four view viewing. That's a lot, like this early. Like, I appreciate you guys. What's Hoven playing? Shadal. I believe he's playing Shadal. How am I? I am good. Asian Tofu 69. How are you? Uh, we're a little further away from the players this time. We were able to make the distance so we're, we're going to be able to talk louder decently Dalton is not here yeah Jerry's probably using shit alls is this a confirmed right, thing one Bowden? more announcement before we get started is if anybody has found a pair of gold and brown glasses please come up and turn let's go with what you're saying Bowden Once again, I believe you found a pair of glasses that is not theirs please turn them in to the scorekeeper's table On that note, players, we just have a few things to go over before we get started. Are you going? Guys, we got a real we'll treat on the uh, written feature coverage. Also, we have Alistair Albans um, versus Chase Furman. That's going to be a good match. I wish that was on stream, but we have this match, which is also a pretty large match. Fashion. Thank you, Angus, for There's subscribing. No cell phones out, not even Once we hit, correct. We Once we hit um, 25 total su subscribers, we get two more emoticons. So, just slow play. let me know like what you guys would want for emoticon. Somebody's talking about like a Hoban face. That's pro that's a big like possibility. We get two more at 25. Now we're at. Uh, I can check. 
we're at 22, so we need you three more, and then I can list. start work on uh, new winner, subscriber emoticons. And I tried to fix our uh, chat badge, but our image has just not been taken by Twitch. Like Twitch, they say it's approved, and it's just supposed to be like the Circus Series icon, but it keeps showing up as a star. So uh, I don't know how to fix that. I'll make a new icon for that too. Upstart minutes. Goblin Hoven face, like from the playmat, that'd be great. Or maybe the token. Is Fraser playing? Fraser's here. And we start. Is that Deneb? Yes, it must be. I'm not f familiar with the card art, so I might uh, get some stuff wrong. Or their uh, attack damage. Jeez. I haven't played too much of uh, the new set because I was at Providence when it was released, and just just like this week, got enough cards to make shit alls. But my friend has to borrow them for the tournament, so apologies. I don't know some of the cards. He says here. Construct. I'm playing Construct. Well, uh, Rob Gotti, it said it's been approved, but uh, it still didn't show up. So yeah, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, I don't know which one that is. I gotta look up Teller Knight on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia. That's at least 15, I know that much. This is Vega. That's it. Thank you, chat. I just found it on Wikia. That's right, Bowden. There's really no reason for him to exceed. Is that a tribute set? I was not looking. Or perhaps it was just a uh, placing a different monster face down. Falco. Yeah, that's why I thought Tribute Set Beast. Beast is a crazy card. I really like sending it. I also really like Tribute Setting for it, which is an odd thing to say. Big Daddy excited on night.
So he's at 33? Did he... I, he must have soul charged when I was not looking. Thank you. I assume that's what he did. Breaks for skill in the beast on flip. This is probably just game now. Compulsive. Um, I can't see what that Shadal is in his hand. Why do you make Excite on? I think it's like his favorite card. Since Dragon. I know Hyperion, right? Common breakthrough, but secret excite all night? What? He plays the card that should have been known as Math Magician. I actually really would have joined if, enjoyed it if they named him that. Squamata and Falco, set Falco. Yeah, Bowden, I agree. Armageddon's good. I think... Yeah, I think Armageddon Knight's better for this format until we get the Earth fusion. Oh. That breakthrough. Also, you, you notice... I know you guys notice there is glare on the upper part. We tried to find the best spot without glare. And unfortunately, it's still on that spot. Oh man. The blowout. I don't know if he's playing awesome. I think that's typically a one of in the deck. 
I know Joe sent me his deck list earlier. Joe is also playing Stellar Knights. Let's see. Joe's not. Joe is playing. Joe is playing Neo Spatian something. Grand Mole, I think. I hope I don't get a deckless warning. My deckless was atrocious. I got the Sanctums literally. I was sleeping in my deck when they posted pairings. So. Nice. Alright. Oh, Shawnee's up. Hello. Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Knowles again. Boop. Alright, so we got Shawnee Boy. Yep. This is still game one. Shadals are getting crushed, apparently. He played uh, an Excite on Night and attacked in Honest. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that's a play. Yeah, this is a matchup from my playtesting. It's like, it's it's not very clear which side is better. Now, I saw a Color Serpent in Jerry's hand. I oh, feel really? like that build has the worst matchup against the Satellar Knights and, like, the Artifact build. I think Artifacts are the better build. Yeah, I, I like the Artifact build, at least for, like, bigger events, because, especially now with... Uh, with the meta being how it is, that uh, like there's so many decks out there that it just like anything can be popped by a Sanctum, basically. Like by pop yep. by Sanctum, pop by Mortal Tech. Yep, yep. And there's the Wolf Bark Altair. And the Color Serpent. What is Color Serpent's attacks at like? <sighs> I I don't actually know. I think I want to say like 17 roughly. Somewhere around there. Yeah, it's think, like 17, I think 18, the white 16, one's 18. 18. 18, okay. Alright, he's got that beast. I guess he's thinking about if he wants to tribute. He'll get the trigger and get the the white one if he has one left. Okay, so that's what he's going to do. Do we know what the last card in his hand is? Um, We don't. I don't, at least. Okay, so is that. Like, if he has a level, if he has like, I don't know. Oh, he's playing the Minerva. That's interesting. I haven't really... I guess, yeah, I guess I've seen a few Wyvern builds with Minerva in it. Still Nova. Oh, no. That's pretty good. Did he just not have any targets for that Altair? Or did, like, did I miss something? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I probably just showed up too late. But uh, yeah, Sean. Sean, I was we were literally just talking, uh, like, because I was trying to get uh, his one friend to trade me the Sanctums, which I finally got. Uh, he has not played any matches with his deck, at all. Huh. Like, even even like he's played like maybe one or two online, I think. But like outside of that, he's played like nothing. Like he he is basically fresh with this deck outside of Therio. Which you know, I actually this is like a deck you can just jump in with. Um, the, the the way from what I've seen with the Knights is that they they kind of remind me of heroes oh, in yeah, a lot of ways definitely. in their play style. That's why Joe's playing them. Because um, they have a Stratos. Yeah, exactly. They, they it's just like not even that. Like they can just they can just make beats and just make it, it's basically f like heroes without the miracle fusion. But your miracle fusion is essentially like soul charge in this case, or like called the haunted demon. Oh yeah, definitely. Thing. There's a torrential tribute. So, Beast Triggers, he'll get a card. He'll get a search if he has an Earth Dark Serpent. Okay, so he has a Dark Serpent. So, this is actually a really good play uh, for him, at least. Unless he's about to lose. Yeah, he's only at 13, so. Yeah, so, I mean, if his opponent's a monster, then he probably has it still. But I feel like he would have just shown him it by now, because it doesn't change anything. Emptiness. Okay. That's, uh, that's the thing. So, he has a Sinister Shadow Games, so that's good. I can't see what the spell is. I can't either. Well, what spells do the deck run? Uh, fusion, but I, I, I've never, I haven't seen a fusion under glare though, so yeah. it might be a fusion. Uh, I don't know. Let's pull up my deck real quick. <laughs> let's see. Uh, could be running Book of Moon. Definitely, that's obviously option. Mind control is an option. Soul charge, super poly if he's manning it, which would actually be really good. Foolish burial maybe. Might be a foil foolish, but I feel like he would have used it. All right, so he's shadow gaming. He's gonna get a hedgehog. hedgehog, huh? Oh, he might want to play under the vanity's emptiness and just go for beads. Like he might want to just summon a dragon, maybe, and that, that might be his plan. Like just like yep. I have bigger monsters. Because mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm nothing you can MST or anything. Dragon's right like now. 18. Uh, oh, the dragon is 19, and 19. the Squamata is 18, yep. which he just added the Squamata. 
It is a fusion in his hand. That's a fusion. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looks like re it looks really evil. Not gonna lie. I think he's at the Squamana. I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to infer he's at the Squamana. Which I I don't hate. I don't is hate Squamata that. Squamata the bounce. No, Squamata is the destroy one, and then if it's sent to the graveyard by card effect, you get to do foolish and yeah. all. Uh, that's dragon. That is the bounce to hand okay. yep. and the uh, spell trap. He drew Deneb, I think. I want to say it's Deneb. I think he has upstart in hand. And then a third unknown card. Oh no, it's uh, unless I just misread it. That's Anuk. Yeah, that that one lets you uh, foolish burial as a teller. I guess he just didn't want to, or maybe he didn't have anything he wanted. Okay, so he, he got that, not the Deneb. And there was only two cards, so I'm stupid. Or blind. Did he play that Upstar Goblin? Yeah, he played the Upstar Goblin, and he drew a card and set it immediately. Okay. Uh, I didn't see what the oh, part there's the BLS. Said. That's the play. Oh. <laughs> His opponent, he better, Sean better have a response, or else things might go downhill from here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not the it's not the best thing, though, because, I mean, it's really only a 3K right now. He has a Super Poly. So, wow, he's making Super Poly, which I was doing, but I uh -huh. cut it for Soul Charges and put it to the sideboard. Um, so, like, the BLS, it's relevant because it's big. But the fact that it can't get any like additional effects this turn, like it's literally just like a blue eyes to the face this turn, is kind of kind of, you know, underwhelming. It's more like your opponent has to play around it their next turn because yeah, like, exactly. if I just set something or like if I Oh yeah, I'm not saying I'm not definitely not saying it's the wrong play. It's just like a less impactful one in my opinion. Um, did he attack or Yeah, he did attack. Yeah, so he's at twenty eight, so actually Sean needs to stop this attack. Um Yeah, that'll probably do it. The fusion. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Scoop. But yeah, like uh, like I was saying, like you didn't you didn't get like any additional attacks that turn. He didn't get to banish anything. Yeah. Turn, so I just feel sure. like I'm just something a big beater. But yeah. Uh. So Sean. Showing what happens when you don't play test. So there goes a nice hand. So yeah. yeah play I, test. I, I, again, like I said, like I, from what I what, what I was hearing over there, he has not play test with this deck. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, all they right. may have just been joking around, like saying he didn't play test enough. But either way, you know, Sean's a guy that I know they usually do a lot of heavy play testing. Yeah. So. So yeah, I, Firehand Ice Hands are obviously going in, which I saw he said definitely siding. Uh, that's important because he's already maining the emptiness, and you know there's gonna be like stuff like Shadow Mirror coming in. I, I can't tell you if I'm gonna maxi or not into that set of sideboard cards. I wouldn't be against it, but I wouldn't think it's the best thing. Uh, I don't know what Sean has here. Sean's thinking about MST taking that out. Uh, I guess that'd be an okay play. The only thing he really needs to worry about is Light Mirrors. How do you like Atlantic City? Oh, it's nice. I came down here last year for vacation. I'm usually in Wildwood, but I usually like take time to come up here and just mm -hmm. hang out for a day. Yeah, it's really nice. Just wish I actually was hoping this was gonna be uh, the convention center on the boardwalk because there'd oh. just be a lot more to do. I don't know. I like how the city set up. It's like it's very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's this is definitely Especially a nice area. Especially the area we're in. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like you, you need to drive, so I just can't like go on my own. Oh, like, yeah. I need to get my buddy to go with me at this point. Like mm -hmm. whereas if it's on the boardwalk, we can walk. Yeah. So I'm kind of afraid that everyone this building knows when I'm playing because of how many people I had to go up to asking for Sanctums for Shadows. Eh. I feel like every opponent I'm going to face today is going to be like, oh, you're that kid playing Artifacts. So you're probably playing Artifact, Fat, or Shadow. Like, well, my friend's playing the same deck. This is his first, like, tournament bigger than a Locals. Mm. And he had to find a Sinister Shadow game, so he finally found one. Yeah, there were a lot of those. Like, at first there wasn't, and then a bunch of people came in, and that was fine. It was a Sanctum so hard to find. Yeah. Which is surprising, because, like, I know I know it's at a rise right now, but, like, quite honestly, I feel like that or Mortal Attack is going to get hit on the next list. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, I had, uh, I had six Sanctum. <laughs> My friend's borrowing three. And I was like, eh. Get rid of them. I'll get rid of them. Yeah, like, I'll probably get rid of them. I don't think there's any events I'm going to. I think Philly Regionals, but I might not even play. I might just judge. So. I sold them to ARG for, like, 70 for the playset, so. Yeah, that, that, yeah. I would, I would take that offer. I, I will I will I would consider going up to ARG and selling my place when I'm done for seventy. Yeah. But uh, when do we get the new list? New list comes out. Uh, we should know about it by the third week of September. It goes into effect the first week of October, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is actually like there's so many decks we can see here. Like obviously we're going to see shuttles, the tellers. Uh, I just I saw a lot of burning abyss. People were like asking for chain disappearance just because we were seeing so many people building a deck out there. Uh, which is something I have advocated. Uh, chain disappearance being a really good card also in the Yangzi matchup. 
But, uh, yeah, I haven't seen many Yangzings. I'm hoping to see some of that today. I feel like that has a lot of potential, especially after your next challengers. But yeah, but then we have to consider like we have the last meta. We have the the trap tricks decks like Hat Fat. Yep. We have base Valdi. <laughs> University slash high school. University. Uh, I guess we're on summer break right now, being here in Lake City. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have dragons, light sworn. We ha <sighs> Gergia is still technically a deck. I think I saw like three of them yeah. playtesting earlier. We get the structure in. Yeah, we're getting October that too. So I think it'll better. Uh, I want to say it's like the third week of October. Yeah, it's October. Yeah, I want to say. Happy birthday to me. I get to deal with more machines in my locals. Oh yeah. <laughs> I get to literally walk in a week after my birthday and I have to deal with more gear. I, I'm lucky. There's like one person in the state that even plays gear. <laughs> of Maine. All right, so milling to them. Simple first turn. It's essentially the mathematician first turn. I believe he said a shuttle hedgehog. I couldn't really see. I was paying yeah. attention. I'm going to assume there's a shadow game set. I would be very disappointed for him if there wasn't. Alright, yep, so Hedgehog, grabbing Fusion, or Core, just playing Core. I was testing around one Core. I ended up cutting it. Uh, in the Wyvern build, I do like the one Core still. But in my build, I don't. <laughs> He's got a Soul Charge in hand? Or is that a... Yeah. I I think I don't like about soul charges. I see it sometimes from camera perspective. I think it's Silent Doom. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of those cards in that set, like, I mistake them for other things. Yeah. It's just because like it's a different type of art they use basically. Yeah, like because like most They're of them all are like show cards. Yeah, like most of them are show cards, and the show cards like they don't have very detailed art for the most yeah. part. All right, those are shadow games. He has a Minerva in hand, the fusion, the soul charge, and a dragon. I think I want to say. So this is very important. Uh, he could go Squamata Beast, get a draw. He could go Dragon, try to get rid of some of that back row, uh, which might be important. I don't know if Sean's thinking about whether or not he's going to respond. I can't tell who's really thinking at the moment. Uh, I wouldn't say it'd be wrong for him to start over here, but I do think it's a little early. All right, but he's going to do it. Uh, I mean, I don't think he has this. Okay, I think he just drew into a Deneb, so it actually wouldn't be too bad there. I, I do see his point. Like, if he goes with the dragon and ends up popping the Stellar Nova, then he gets a lot less value and his opponent thins the deck. So he drew a Squamata. I don't know how that changes things. Oh, well, yeah, he has a fusion from my hand, so it does change things. That's basically any card in the deck he wants. Uh, I feel like the play is send Dragon, Squamata, and then send a Beast or a Falco off the Squamata. Midrash is definitely, or Winda is definitely a important card in this matchup, and it will get denied. Fantasy is such a huge card. Oh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a blowout. That's that's why Shadow Games is very important in this matchup. Uh, I actually like, like I said, I don't think he was wrong for activating the Shadow Games most definitely, and Sean was not wrong for definitely not. Uh, Are you playing wrong Scythe in your deck? Am I playing Scythe? What do you mean Artifact, Artifact Scythe? Scythe? No, I'm just playing Moral Text. It's it's really just a splash. But I am playing two Mal um, Eleven Catastrophes in the deck because the back row is just real right now. Uh, between the Burning Abyss and the Satellar Knights, everyone's hyping. The back row is just real. Because so. Playing Scythe can turn, like, a Sanctum into a Vandy's almost. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do see the theory. I was testing that. Uh, I was testing that and Beagle uh, individually, obviously, at some points. Um, the thing with Scythe is that it does not work against my worst matchups. Like, Spellbook, which isn't a, that bad matchup, but it is. It can, it can be very tough at times. And Dragon Rulers, which is definitely a terrible matchup for this deck, for my deck at least. Um... It, it doesn't deal with them, and I didn't want to put any more deck cards. Like, yeah, I'm running the Malcats to make any uh, moral text I draw live, but uh, I didn't want to make even more deck cards. Uh huh. One thing that we realized that was pretty important is that it can crash with a window. With into what? With scythe. Oh right, yeah, yeah. That's that's uh that's a big thing. Yeah, definitely. That helps. It was uh, just like something we, we were like, oh, last night. I yeah, yeah, that that was my friend. That was, that's what uh, my one buddy, uh, uh, Corey, was telling me about. He was like, yeah, play Scythe, you can crash into it. Um, but with the Shadal matchup, the person that 
fusion summons first. It actually usually ends up losing yeah, unless yeah. it's for the game. So I'm not really worried about having to crash into a window for the most part. It's just like an extra thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I totally get I totally get it, yeah. Not gonna lie, I would really like to see Sean sw uh, slam the equipped spell card on his Satellar Knight right now to like just start bashing it even more with his vanities on field. However, I believe that Skulmata is the set card right now, and he is going to wreck the field. Chill, chill. He's got Sinister Shadow Games activating. <laughs> He's like, attack with the neb, and it's like, no, I'm going to pop something. Chill. And, oh, he got Dragon, too, so that's actually going to... So, yeah, Dragon's going to take care of a back row, which will also take care of Vanity's update. And if that doesn't do it, Skulmata will take care of it. So, yeah, Altair is definitely the hit. Um, always go up to the Altairs first, because everything else is live off in their Altair. I think he, I can't tell he's talking to a judge about, I thought I saw someone walk over. Yeah, he was. Okay. Make sure it works. Okay, so we're going to Stellar Nova, the Squamata. Wow, that's actually, I feel like that's actually all in Sean's favor there. Because he did get a lot of value out of there. Like, he ba he basically lost every card he was going to lose, but he got a free draw out of it. Does Squamata get its effect? I feel like Squamata gets its effect. Off the, off the Satellar Nova, right? Um, can, can you pull up that Satellar Nova? I'm trying to yeah. figure out which Satellar Knight this is that just attacked directly. Is oh, uh, Deneb, 15. That's Deneb? Yeah. Look at that, all my play testing. There's a Soul Charge. Alpha Nova. I think it's stellar. I think it's Stellar Alpha Space Nova. Okay. Yeah, it's really weird. There we go. Or not. <laughs> so it's Stellar Alpha Nova. So he's bringing back. Okay, so Mayla Bobble Chain. He's got a dragon on the field still, which is the strongest. So that's a good one to keep. Uh, Skamata. Send with the Bobble Chain. Whatever. I assume. Break through skillet. <laughs> we okay. can't find the card. <laughs> but yeah, like if it's, I mean, I I think. In the gates, the activation of the effect, meaning he didn't activate Skulmata's effect. Like just like if you like if you do it to a soul charge, uh, like you can activate mm -hmm. our soul charge. So I, I feel like he should have got the Skulmata effect to send. But I, I could be totally off there. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, break the skill of bubble chain. Uh, he can still swing over. Is that Sean's hand or graveyard? That's graveyard. Okay, I was gonna say like That's man, oh man. <laughs> oh what? What's going on? Oh, that's his hand. No, that's his hand. Yeah. That's his hand. That's his graveyard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, yeah. I couldn't see the hands. I was like, what? I was like, how do you have no hand? Okay, so that uh, emptiness is going to show Sean just how bad it is. <laughs> it's like, yep, uh, it was good against me, and it's good against you, too. And you don't have a dragon you can mill, so. Hmm. Sean have any back row hand? Oh, he has the honest. He's fine. <laughs> so now can I make my plays? So that was attacking with... 15 over. 15. Yeah. And that's dragon on the field? Yeah. Did you... You took off for... 15 for Deneb... The attack directly, and then he still charged for three, didn't he? Or was it two? Who? Sean? No, Jerry. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's how he made the vault. I wasn't sure if it was two or three. It was at least two. I wasn't sure if he normal the dragon from hand or not. I want to say it was two, because I think he had a dragon in hand, unless okay. it's playing three. Yeah, I just missed that. Yeah, so we should be down an R500. Got it. Or so. I don't know. We're really messed up at this point, but I think I think at this point, I think three. Sean's kind of... They said three? Okay. So he's at 2k? Yeah. I, th I feel like Sean's in the driver's seat at this point. So yeah. I, I don't feel like he's going on very, very much longer. Oh, there's another soul charge. So actually, this does matter. We could be completely off, and this will very much matter. He also has a hedgehog. So that's actually very relevant. Well, we'll find out soon. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, chat, tell us what's up. They're saying three. I'm sorry that I had to get up at four in the morning to come here. <laughs> uh, that's my fault. I need to pay attention more. 
She got a table spotter. Yeah. By the way, world's coverage? Definitely not better than this coverage. Whoa, shots fired. Bang, bang. No, I couldn't even see what's on the table. Like, I was going to have my own stream just because I couldn't take half the commentating and stuff. But then, like, the camera was so above the table that I couldn't even tell what was on the table half the time without listening to them. Yeah. And I didn't want to stream without having to listen to our streamers at the same time. I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no care in the world. Oh, yeah, Rhode Island was the same weekend. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I did. A, I watched. I ended up watching that the first day because I couldn't take it. I only watched the the end of the second day. All right. Oh yeah. So Fernie, that's another thing. Fernie is definitely a big deal here. But I feel like should I? I'm I'm very curious what the better matchup is between Shadows and Fernie, because the Super Poly is a really important card in that matchup, and it it's just like it can be a total blowout. All right. He's gonna send one now. Or not. <laughs> yep, and I'll be game. Okay, so yeah, he was at like 2,000. Hooray! So let's try to pay more attention this time. <laughs> so we're not rolling ads anymore? Uh, not round one. We're trying to get people like in here, so. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, no in between siding. Yeah. I like to be generous and uh, <laughs> not subject people to my massive ad playing until later. I should probably start putting this huge stack of cards in my pocket back in my binder. The guy literally took out like a whole stack of cards out of my binder to look for the Sanctum. And then only ended up taking like 15. And so like I had to put like all these back in my binder now. I have a whole bunch of playmats too I had to get rid of here. Or try to get rid of. I can have these? No, no, chill. Like I put these back. All the cards must go back in their place. So I'm actually really surprised. You win? I'm really surprised at the price hype of our mateys. Like, I understand, like, so many decks want to play it right now, but it is about to get a reprint. And, like, you already see 101 Exiton dropping, like, because of the reprint coming up next week. Um, so I'm actually really surprised that, it, that it's actually going up as much as it is. Oh, wait, someone has Versus system? Wait, there's Versus here? I want to put some Versus. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really excited for that. When when I heard that, I was just like, oh my god, my body is ready. But, yeah, adding altar. Yeah. That, I, I, I will I will gladly trade off Kaijudo for versus and DBZ. People play DBZ? Yeah, they're rebooting it. For like the sixth time? Yep. <laughs> Listen, I just want some really nice tokens. That's all I care about. <laughs> Usually. Oh, yeah. That's right, guy. Uh, 80,000 is a lot of life points. Yeah. Sometimes I hit zero too many times. <laughs> there is the temptation to butter mash. Don't hurt me. Hey. It's game three. Do you want to commentate? What's up? Yeah, we got third. You want to go? Yeah, Get over here. Can they see me? No. Nah. Is it on? It's on. It's on? Yeah. So they can hear me talk? Yes. So they oh, can hear every crazy. little word. They're up, hanging James? on it. This is crazy. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Stefan. Um, Base Lolly's uh, partner in crime. <laughs> All right, so what we got here? We got a Deneb. It's going down. We got yeah. McKay. Oh, he got the Honest hand, too. Dang, this is a really good hand. So his hand is Honest, Altair, and Fissure. Wow. Oh, my God. He didn't activate the Fissure? What's well, that macro? I wouldn't have either. I mean, in fear, I guess, of another, uh, what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, he wants to get that Altair live, but, yeah. like, I don't know. This this Shadow Mirror. Oh, never mind. I, I still mean, he could, just, he could just chain to the Fissure, chain a Shadow game. No, does Lizard say face up? One of them destroys spell and Which one? Uh, Dragon has to be sent to the graveyard. Uh, yeah, lizard sends if up. If he activates Fissure and he chains Shadow Games, won't the Lizard go to the graveyard and then just destroy the game? Right, yeah, the Dragon yeah. will. Yeah, yeah, So I guess yeah, that, he, he can do that. Yeah, I guess that's he didn't smart. want him to get hit by a, a Shadow Game. Yeah, so I Stellar. Guess I didn't see he had the Stellar Nova. That yeah. actually makes sense because he's, he's, he's basically committing oh, the Stellar damn. Nova something. He yeah. shouldn't have M phase MST, the new one. Yeah. He needs to save that. That was. Yeah. Because don't they. Don't Shadows play Emptiness? Uh, he, he is playing them. I don't know if it's on the sideboard or not. He did it last game. That's how uh, he almost ended up winning it. 
So, I mean, Mashab has, uh, <laughs> Mashab, <laughs> McCabe has good card advantage right here. Yeah, McCabe has not actually playtested a lot with this deck, so, like, I'm actually surprised he's being I able to pilot this really well. <laughs> I just played, uh, uh, I'm playing Battery Man OTK today. Are so, you seriously? Yeah, just for oh fun. Oh, my God. So, uh, I, I you, did, man. I did the, you know, the usual, uh, against my opponent first turn, and then, uh, game two, he's playing Infernities, but he's playing, like, Synchro Infernities. So yeah, game like, two, he made a void ogre. he made a Void Ogre Dragon. I couldn't really do anything. Like, that, that <laughs> card like, is you'll broken. you'll play this card? <laughs> that card is broken. <laughs> And then game three, uh, he just did the the typical uh, Infernity Dougie on me. So, but it's fine. Battery Man still going. Battery strong. Man is Don't so worry, alive. Guys. I'm a, Aren't I'm micro cells like fours right now? Yeah. Like, oh my Industrial's God. like ten dollars. Oh it's my ridiculous. God. But uh, I'm gonna see if uh, I'm gonna talk to Jim. I want to get a feature match next round. That'd be kind of cool. I man. would love to see that. Battery Man feature. In other news. <laughs> in other news, <laughs> in there's other a news. game five going on. Until time. Oh yeah, five and yeah, half that's relevant. I say oh yeah, we have a timer now. Wait, Jesus. what do you, you grab with now. the neb? Uh, he he grabbed another altar. Okay, it's just crazy how they loop wolf barks like that. Like it's it absurd. it's like like I said, it's it's kind of like the way heroes yeah. play. It's just like the neb is your stratos always. Like it it works exactly the same. Um, and I was playing. Uh, me and Fraser were testing a lot with this deck. I, I think he's playing it. No, he's playing uh, Shadal today. Yeah, I think Fraser's playing Shadal. Me and him were uh, testing with Stellar Knights a lot, and it's just kind of hard for all decks to continuously play against the Wolf Bark that's coming out every single. Exactly. Time. The the only the only problem with Shit with, with that uh, Shadal uh, so Stellar Knights I yeah. feel is that against a deck like uh, Fat Hat, where it's yeah. also playing like, a really defensive back road heavy deck. Mm -hmm. Decks that can grind better than it beat yeah, it, but yeah. it can outgrind gr most other decks and be explosive at the same time. The what I learned about uh, Stellar Knights and really it caught me off guard is the fact that when you make Delteros, um, and it's on board, your opponent actually can't activate Compulse to put it back into the deck. Exactly. You have turn player priority. So I actually learned that it's actually pretty broken. So you can kind of if they activate the Compulse, you can kind of just. Well, it's their fault that they misplayed like yeah, that. Exactly. You can just destroy a different card because you yeah. know what the set is. Actually. Yeah, especially if it's like you have no other monsters and they yeah. have some like one of theirs. Like it's just backbreaking. Oh, he has a super poly. Oh, oh that, God. that's that's what I actually like about events yes. like this. Like right after like a set drops, mm -hmm. that it really tests player knowledge yes. of the game and game mechanics, and it lets players that actually understand it more rise to the top. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, is he still thinking about the Deneb summon? I think he's. I think, I think he's so. attempting the super poly. I think he might bring out the construct. Yeah. But I think that would be a bad idea. Yeah, I feel like he wants to wait. Yeah, because it'll definitely put him at a lot of card dis disadvantage right now. Wow, is he actually gonna go for it? Uh, I guess he flipped the five. Uh, oh, he flipped, oh, it was a set card. Okay. What does he have in the graveyard? Oh. He has nothing now. <laughs> I guess he's gonna has. He might chain the super poly. That oh, that's MST. No, I would let it ride and then just get rid of the other back row and super poly it. Because you, I, you would still get your Falco to just bring it right back. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. So I guess it really, oh did. I guess it really didn't matter. Yeah, he should have just MST the other back. No, yeah, I definitely see what you're saying. That would have yeah. been that would been a good play. I would have just let it ride and then just bring out the construct. Or if he has another Shadal in hand. No, wait, no, he wouldn't get the Falco effect because he already attempted to activate it. As long as you attempt to activate it. Right oh, yeah, I still lost. think that was a better play. I, I think he might have. Uh, this game's gonna definitely gonna be a rough one. The emptiness is no joke. Yeah. Is that an honest? Yeah, he has honest. Oh he opened honest. He yeah. opened. He opened it really good for that this match. That is absurd. He also has, I think, two altars. Or yeah, he has altar. Yeah. Yeah. Where his the Nebula? It's in the graveyard. Yeah, he's sitting. Out, he's telling over it. He's just gonna special it. Oh, he can't even special the yeah. Falco. Oh my goodness, bro. How much is that? Uh, that was. Let's see. That's 17 over. What is Falco? 600? 200? Something, Something like, that. like that. I can look. <laughs> I want to say it's 15 right there. Uh, 600. 600. So, so 11. That's 11. The neb. Okay, wait, wait, so we were just testing this. Stellar Nova negates the activation uh, yep. effect, right? So if he Stellar Nova to Skomata earlier, shouldn't the Skomata get its graveyard effect? Um, so the grave? Uh, did he flip it? He flipped something. No, because I guess because he attempted to activate the effect. I, I don't think you can. Because whatever is the same as Soul Charge, though, like you negate the activation. It's because of Soul it doesn't Charge, negate, negate activate the activation or something. Or something. It, I, I'm pretty sure it says negate the effect, not okay. the activation. Yeah, not the activation. Okay. Yeah. okay, that makes sense. That's what someone said in the chat, mm -hmm. too. Oh, okay. You can oh, inform me. Oh, gosh. That's Google game. Pool. That's game. Damn. That's honest. Get through there. So, what is what was that? A lizard? Yeah. What's that? 19? 18. 18. Dragon's so, he 19. took... He gains 15. 18. So, he took 15. Yeah, it took 15 and 17 to face. 15 and 17. So, he just took 3,000... 32. 15, 32. And then, no, another 17. That should no, be No, because he doesn't take the 18. The 18 just equals it out. And yeah, then I takes know. 15, so, he takes yeah. the 15, but he's attacking with another 15 right now. And then another 17. Oh, right. You mean from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, it's game. Yeah. Yeah, that's, game. that's just... What game was this? That was three. That oh, was it. Oh, damn. That's tough. Yeah. Poor Jerry. It's all right. I mean, I guess it happens. You open up broken sometimes. 
Oh, yeah, we got man. second feature with scraps. <laughs> oh yeah, James Chow. He just did the he did the scrap loop with him and got did rid he? of three cards. Oh my yeah. god, yo! It's like uh, I think the game's over. Uh, yeah, it's is over. It? Oh uh, yeah, god. Giordano had one. Uh, he opened up. Uh, he opened up the scrap loop and snatched three cards. He had a warning, and he activated soul charge. So he soul charged <laughs> for three of them Ooh, and yeah. got him down to five thousand life points. And then he activated warning on Giordano's um, one of Giordano's monsters. Right. So Giordano like brought them back and made a scrap dragon popped off his monster and swung for twenty eight and, and that was game. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was, again, it was again, like turn turn three. He right. lost. Yeah. It's again. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. I guess. I mean, if I had the chance to do that loop, I would just do it just because it's the loop. What's up, Courtney? Time in the round. Yu Gi Oh! That's time! That's what this guy says in my logo. Yu Gi Oh! That's time! Man, I hope I actually play against a deck that. I don't, I'm tired of playing Solitaire. Infernities is so annoying. I know. Like, right? you should have seen what I did to my opponent. Oh, my goodness. Talk, talk right, please. So, you have time. All right, so game one. I open up Short Circuit. I don't know if you know what that does. No, I know. My uh, buddy made like a I'll, trap trick. I open up battery Short man. Circuit, Battery Charger, uh, uh, micro cell, fuel cell, and um, and a charger. So I uh, draw for turn. I set a trap stun and pass my turn. Okay. He has five back row and a set monster. I'm like, oh damn. So I draw for turn. I activate trap stun. He lets it ride. So I was like, all right, flip fuel cell, special uh, nine volt. Nine volt lets me grab a fuel cell to hand. Right. Um, I tribute off the fuel cell for a charger. Charger lets me special my yeah. last fuel cell out of the deck. Activate short hand. circuit. Short Actually. circuit destroys his entire board. The set monster was a Stygian. So then I bring out the other fuel cell and then swing for like, I think it was 24, 60, 80. It was like 98 or something like that. So that was game. So then game two, we go to game two. Uh, I open up my typical monsters, but I mean, he has like answers for everything. Yeah. Like, he literally have answers for everything. So we, he, the vo after the Void Ogre Dragon, I kind of lost because I couldn't get around. He was negating pot of dualities and everything. I was like, damn. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like showing off. Like, so we go no. to game three. Um, I set four back row. He end phase triple MST, three in my back row. Draws for turn and activates Night Beam on the last back row. I was like, what is this? Yeah, oh no, here. God. <laughs> this is I just got triple MST Night Beamed. Like, it was ridiculous. That's insane. It, I know. I tried. Like, I, I activated Max C. He was like, uh, he, so he flipped his Necromancer. Right. It was face down. Then he summoned the other Necromancer. And he, like, activate effect, activate effect. I was like, all right, Max E. So I draw, and he stops there. Actually, he didn't stop there. He, he brought out an Infernity Avenger or something and secret into a Void Dragon. I was like, oh, yeah, Void, void Ogre. Yes, I was, like, I was like, what do I do? You too? <laughs> See, you didn't uh, play against play Synchro Infernity. Yeah, you play cards that spin stuff back to deck yeah, unaffected by traps. Like, like, that is nonsense. Like, that is nonsense. You're playing cards I'm like... like <laughs> <why are they? laughs> Man, it was, it was annoying. It was it was definitely a difficult matchup, I must say that. But I'm excited to play game two. I'm going to see if I can go get a feature match. I definitely <laughs> came into this event thinking, like, uh, there's not a uh, there's not a best deck, so I might as well play something I Right, yeah, we were discussing that. Like, yeah. there's all of Last Meta's decks. Yeah. There's all of this set's yeah, decks. Yeah, I know, it's like, ridiculous. Like, it's insane. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, everyone's talking about how there's, like, this trifecta. Because I was playing Burning Abyss. I've been playing it at my local. Uh, me and my friend Garen, we actually been doing really and everyone's well been looking for chain of space yes. all day. There, there was, like, 40, there was, like, there was, like, there was, like four people I told yes. together. Just building the and burning like abyss. Eight dollars or something. It's, yeah. it's absurd. I have some in the car. I need to go get them. <laughs> I was playing. Uh, so I was playing burning abyss leading up to this. Right. And then last night I was on DN with uh, Furman. It was me, Furman, Ned, and um, and TJ Kinsley. We were on uh, DN and they were just playing Batman Man mirrors for fun. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Yeah, like the fact that you could trap stun and then you you only need two cards to destroy your opponent's board. Like it is absurd. So I was like, all right, let me get these cards. If I get them, I'll play them tomorrow. So I got like. 60% of the deck, and I came in here today, and Furman was like, uh, I was like, Furman, I want to play the deck.